Hi, my name is Francisco Gutierrez. Um, I'm an artist, uh, painter, illustrator, a um, little bit of everything, uh, some graffiti too. Uh, my favorite medium is uh, just pretty much anything that that leads life or any color, any anything. Um, I don't necessarily have a favorite type of medium or style. It just it's just whatever I'm in the mood for. Uh, luckily, I've been trained to uh, to do all styles. So um, so yeah, it, it's just whatever I'm in the mood for. It comes and I'll do it. Uh, well, I got started. Uh, that's a good question. I guess I st got started later on in life. Um, as kids, we were my. I had an older brother, and we were really deprived on uh, on uh, comics and cartoons. We weren't allowed to watch TV. We weren't allowed to to do anything that wastes time. It all had to be academic at home. So uh, <laughs> to us, uh, crayons and markers were contraband in the house. So we would hide them inside stereos or whatever, as well as uh, white paper. So absolutely no imagination. It was all about. Um, <laughs> mathematics and penmanship um, so I guess for me it, it started I started with art by uh, actually memorizing and remembering like a lot of the cartoons and comics and stuff um, I guess that, that was a benefit about being deprived you kind of like force yourself to like develop a photographic memory so you see it once and then mom's coming you got to turn off the TV and so it's like you know um, <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's trauma. Cool. Uh, yeah, most of my inspiration comes from, uh, actually it's totally unrelated to the work. Um, comic books and cartoons, uh, old, like, Little Rascals, Our Gang. I like a lot of 1920s, 30s uh, photographs, so I get a lot of my inspiration off, uh, you know, you know, people working, uh, a lot of... Uh, 50s, 40s, racial tension, and, and just, you know, looking at that era and getting my inspiration from that, but mostly it's comic books, um, works totally unrelated to, it doesn't even look like that's my influence, but usually if I want to paint something, I look at comic books or watch cartoons, it's, it's just completely the opposite, but uh, yeah, that, that works very well for me. Um, wow. Uh, I guess the, I see myself pretty much doing doing art. I guess until the day I die, and just constantly improving. I don't ever think that uh, you know there comes a point in time when you you know everything. Uh, I think you know just like with any other um, thing in life, it's just it's a learning experience. So in a couple of years, I just hopefully you know just things either art or anything. I man I'm <laughs> I do a lot of things uh, so you know in five years I just definitely will be doing the same thing just hopefully better okay tonight I have uh, I'm showcasing an ex exquisite set of um, of uh, monkeys uh, one of my favorites are the marmosets especially the pygmy marmosets a lot of people don't know about them but uh, it's the smallest monkey in the world I think it's the size of a thumb so uh, well I'm not that I think but it is the size of a thumb and uh, totally did my research from anatomy muscles bones from the inside out um, so I'm showcasing a lot of my monkey paintings uh, and that's something I've always liked uh, <laughs> One of my influences for that was uh, Pippi Longstock and had a spider monkey, Mr. Nelson. So, uh, Mr. Nelson, I always wanted one, and I guess I can't have any here in California. So, uh, you know, I guess uh, I have to settle with uh, trying to make them as realistic in, uh, <laughs> as I can. And uh, I guess uh, that's the only monkey I can have. My name is Francisco, and I am a raw artist.